probably any moment one of the kids would come and say, Ma, what is for supper tonight? Well, I'm all ready and prepared. I'm going to make it together with you tonight. And I have chicken schnitzels on the menu with Turkish rice and stir-fried broccoli. I always try to do a protein, a carb, and at least one vegetable. First, we're going to start with making the schnitzels. It always looks very impressive in the restaurants, but it's actually very easy to make at home. Mine might not be restaurant quality, but I bet you it will taste as good. So I take the fillet and I take, it's a flat, what do you call it, I don't even know, a flat knife. Nice and sharp and I try to hold the fillet and then cut in the lengthwise through the thick parts. So there we have a piece, this one is nice and thick. So we, there we have our fillet, and then we're going to give it a good beating with a meat hammer. I inherited this one, so I can't even tell you where to buy one. But you get a flat side, and then you get the side with the teeth, the teeth part you need for the chicken. And then you just gently pound each piece of fillet, just gently. Chicken is not tough, doesn't need a lot of pounding. It makes it spread out a bit to get covered in crumbs. I cover the chicken then in crumbs. I just buy something from the supermarket. It's crumbs that are flavored and spiced. Who knows what's in there, but it tastes good. Then I'm just going to take each fillet and just cover it as easy as that. First time I made this, my family thought that their mother is the best cook in the world. All my fillets are covered now with crumbs and I'm going to put it aside and we're going to start on the Turkish rice. If you live in a hot climate, put it in the fridge. But where I live is real cold, so this is good enough for the counter. My dear friend, Nial, she taught me how to make Turkish rice and this is what I learned from her. You put in about two tablespoons of margarine and then you add about two tablespoons of sunflower oil. Apparently uh, olive oil do not work. So then we wait for this to melt. I have rinsed two cups of rice and I'm not sure what to say what kind of rice but it's not a, sh a long grain rice. This is more a shorter grain but it makes delicious Turkish rice. So our margarine is all melted. So when this is hot, you add the rice. And a pinch of salt. And then you stir it. In the meantime, I have boiled a liter and a half of water and I need to make sure that it's hot. So I'm quickly going to switch the kettle on again. Just keep stirring. It gets to a point where it almost becomes crumbly dry and that's where we're going to put the water in. The rice gets to a stage where it starts to stick together. You just keep stirring past that stage and it makes little white pieces of how can I say? Some of it looks see-through, but then the rice turns white and it starts to have a nutty smell. Now that's the stage where we're going to put on the fan extractor because we're going to add some water to this and it's going to make a lot of noise. 
Okay, so I'm going to add the liter and a half of water to this. The, it's about medium, medium high gas. Okay, let me get the water. on medium high and let it boil. So while we wait for the rice to boil, don't stir. <laughs> the camera lady says I forgot to say don't stir. So I'm going to switch on the back burner and going to move the rice to the back burner and we are going to start with the schnitzel. So while the rice is cooking on that stove, I have a beautiful pan here, so I'm going to do this with sunflower oil. I'm adding a little bit of oil because we have no oil with the chicken at this stage. It was just the chicken and the crumbs. And let's see, this seems hot enough. I'm going to turn this down a bit because schnitzel takes a bit of time to cook, so it's on medium low. There we go. Let's take the first one. Be patient with them. They need time to cook. I'm going to adjust pick up some of the oil and you do need a non-stick pan for this one I think the schnitzel is ready to be turned oh look at that goodness while our schnitzel is frying the rice is nicely cooking you just patiently have to wait on yeah, reasonably high gas until all the water is evaporated. Let's see. Let me see. I think they are done. Now the thing with chicken, it can be very uh, tricky. It seems like it's cooked and then it's still raw inside. So that's why I think not too high gas. So I'm going to take them out and I'm going to put them on my towel paper so some of the oil can drain away. And I'm going to turn this down a little bit. And then we just add a bit more oil. Shake it about. And then add the next two. The rice needs to cook for about 20 minutes to get to this stage. And I'm going to switch it off. And then you just put a lid on it for another 15 to 20 minutes to sit and steam. And that's all there is to it. So our schnitzels are done. Our rice is done. I've chopped some fresh broccoli into florets. We will stir fry that in a bit. First, we need to get some oil. Now here we are going to use some olive oil. Just a little bit to wet the bottom. And I um, peel my cloves of garlic and then I put them into a bottle and keep them in the fridge. And then as I knead them, they are ready. So I'm just going to put two cloves of garlic into this. My family don't mind the chunk, so I'm just going to scrape out the insides too. All part of the taste. So, turn up the gas. Stir frying. The garlic a little bit. I added a little bit more oil. Broccoli needs a little bit more oil. So then when this is starting to brown, I'm going to add the broccoli. Be careful, garlic burns so fast. So here we go. 
So I'm adding the broccoli and then I'm just going to gently stir fry it. So let me just recap. The schnitzels are in the warm oven, a low oven. The rice is sitting, busy steaming, and the broccoli is on its way. It's a whole meal filled with deliciousness. And your family will thank you for this. And you're going to let get lots of oohs and ahs about those nichols. Make sure you cover the garlic so it doesn't burn. I'm going to add a good grinding of black pepper. Broccoli is has so much flavor on its own. It only needs salt, olive oil, and black pepper. And I'm going to add a little bit of lemon at the end to give it just a bit of a kick. My family likes their broccoli still crunchy and it has a beautiful lively green color and not this pale heap of little trees, as they call it, laying on the plate. So, well, you should stir fry this for about 10 minutes. And then you try the thickest piece, and if it's soft, then you know, or soft or more tender. Crunchy, but more tender. It's ready. Time to dish up. Here's our broccoli, our schnitzel. And to Turkish people, a very nice way of serving their rice. They dish it into a little container like this. And then you dump it on the plate. And there we are. So there you have it. Schnitzel. Rice, Turkish rice, and broccoli. You can do it.